Can you say hi, everybody? Hi. Can you wave? <coughs> hi. Yeah. <coughs> I've deter Whoa, okay. <laughs> I've determined that Yael mainly likes this because she gets to see herself. And right now we are definitely at the stage where looking in the mirror and looking at ourselves is becoming important. <coughs> yeah. And as she gets older as a woman, it'll be even way more important. Anyways, we won't go into that. Um, it is still Friday, but I wanted to put this post up early. Um, it actually won't show up until tomorrow, Saturday, but we're going to be mostly um, having some family time, and then we'll be driving on Sunday to go see my dad. So I wanted to go ahead and get this done. Don't eat your sh your feet on camera. <laughs> Anyways, um, really quickly, wanted to point out a video of something that happened recently in the news. There was a, um, uh, I don't know all the exact details, but basically... There were some astronauts who came back. <laughs> wow, there were some astronauts who came back from a space station and they landed in Kazakhstan. It was planned, but um, I just thought it was interesting because a lot of people always ask me, you know, what's Kazakhstan like? What you know happens there? What's the big deal? You know, all this, and you know, wanting to understand more. And so Kazakhstan is actually, when it was a part of the former Soviet Union, um, it was the main area where they. Uh, launched their uh, spaceships and a lot of times where also they returned from their space exploration. Yeah. <gasps> Anyways, um, here, check out the road really quickly, the short video on this. Expedition 22 Commander Jeff Williams and Soyuz Commander Max Soroyev said goodbye to the members of the Expedition 23 crew in the early hours of March 18th after completing 167 days on the International Space Station. Later, at 7.24 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, their Soyuz capsule parachuted to a safe landing on the steppe of Kazakhstan. Working in snow and frigid temperatures, the Russian recovery team extracted the duo from the spacecraft to start their adaptation to gravity. So anyways, yeah, that's, uh, that's them coming back. Kazakhstan has a lot of uh, what are called the steppes. And it's where it's really, really flat area. We've got a lot of really cool mountains near Almaty where we lived and where we're going to be living. But um, there's also a lot of open plains. And so it's a great place. <coughs> yeah, exactly. It's a great place for uh, spaceships or, or whatever, the capsules that come back down. Anyways, so I thought I would point that out. Um, what else? What else should we tell them? Ooh, yeah. We are almost crawling. It is amazing. She's not crawling yet. So thankfully we haven't had to, uh, you know kid proof the house completely but she's getting up on her knees and her hands and knees don't do that on camera people will be like why is she eating her toes um <laughs> yeah but she's getting up on her hands and knees and rocking back and forth and she's learned how to scoot around and so i'll put the toys like you know a few feet away from her and let her scoot up to them and get her toys it's a lot of fun we've been having a lot of fun watching her and she's growing up so fast so anyways today is a short post just to share a little bit about what kazakhstan is like and how they are involved with the space exploration and all the space stuff and to give you a short little quick update on yael and for her to say hi so we're gonna go now say bye say bye 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 Bye-bye. <laughs>